This is brought to you by Bad Hair Day. Today, I just want to showcase a plugin that I'm working on. Everybody loves ChatGPT, right? But how do you add context to ChatGPT? Why if I want to have a chat that knows what the hell I'm talking about? Like, let's say you have some information for your business or your product and you want people to ask your chat about it. How do you do that? Well, you accomplish it by creating text embeddings. If you don't know what text embeddings are, you could go to OpenAI and read all about it. I'm still learning how it works, but apparently what you could do is you could take your domain knowledge or information, store it in a vector database. In this case, I'm using Pinecone, and then you can use that knowledge in your chat bot with ChatGPT. So now when someone asks a question, it's gonna search this vector database and provide appropriate answer based on your information. And before we get too deep, I am building my application with Strapi. Strapi allows you to build an API with an admin panel literally in two minutes. And what I'm doing is I'm putting all my logic inside my Strapi code by creating a plugin. Don't worry about it. I'll talk more about it in different videos. But if you want to extend Strapi application, you could do it in so many different ways, building a plugin that will accomplish certain things that you want. So quick look over the application. Here I have my plugin that I built. Again, this is just a POC. I don't have any embeddings here. I also created a setting section for the plugin where you could go ahead and enter your OpenAI API key, your Pinecone environment, and your Pinecone API key. Here I logged in into my Pinecone account, and as you could see here, I have no vectors. So my database has nothing in it. So if I make a request to my endpoint that's going to be used by my chatbot, it won't know what the hell we're talking about. So let's demo that. I'm going to ask who's Pierre and click send. This is making a request and it's giving me a generic answer. Pierre is a French name commonly used for mail. So it doesn't know what the hell it's talking about because I don't want it to give me general answers. I want it to give me based off my knowledge base. So let's go ahead and add some content to our knowledge base that our chatbot could use so it knows what the hell it's talking about. So here we are, we have no vectors. I'm gonna to go to our Strapi website and I'm gonna click on Pierre here. Look at that beautiful picture of him. I'm gonna copy and paste back in my plugin. I'm gonna go create a new embeddings. I'm gonna click it here and I'm just gonna say it's Pierre and click create embeddings. So this went ahead and created an embedding that is saved on our vector database. So if we take a look at our pine call console, we saw we have one vector, but why stop there? Let's add a couple more. Let's do Jim, another handsome gentleman, create embeddings, boom, copy, boom, create embeddings, it does its thing, and let's do one more for good luck. Let's do Aurelian. I think Strappy is just a bunch of folks doing amazing things. Pretty awesome. So let's create another embedding and click create embedding. And now we added context to our chatbot. So now when I make that same request, who's Pierre, it will know what the hell we talked about. So it's gonna go ahead and return the basic information that we have. And it's also gonna return from where it's getting that data. And I could also say, for instance, what does Pierre believe in? Like question mark, of course, click send. And it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna get the talks. And look, Pierre believes in open source, remote and people first organization. Now let's ask who is Jim? Click send. Jim is the chief user success officer at Strapi. What is Jim in charge of? Jim is in charge of making sure Strapi provides all the resource help guidance that will set Strapi users up for success. Fantastic. So let's do one more and let's do who is the chief product officer? Click send. And look at this, chief product officer is Aurelian, which is pretty awesome. So I wanted to quickly showcase this POC that I built. So before I chatbot was dumb. I had no idea what the hell I wanted to talk about, but now through these embeddings, we're able to add context to our chat GPT chat. Now I'm able to add all the context here and have an external API endpoint that I could call from any website where my chat is going to live, where people are able to ask questions and get answers based on the context I provided. I hope you like this quick video. If you like to learn more how I'm building this plugin, let me know. I would definitely love to talk about it, but I just wanted to showcase how instead of having to build the whole API from scratch, I just use Strapi as my starting point. And if you take a look at the code, I was able to create my plugin where I inserted all my 
logic for the front end and for my back end where I'm able to create my content types, my routes, and able to create my services and controllers, which is pretty awesome. So instead of having to create a whole application from scratch, I'm able to piggyback off Strapi and create useful things really fast. Anyway, enough for this video. I'm gonna go fix my hair. I'll see you guys in the next one. And girls, of course, and everybody.